You're probably watching this video because someone else asked you to add them to your Squarespace website. So maybe you're going to be working with a designer to level up your Squarespace website and they say, add me as an admin on your site. So how do you do that? I'm gonna show you how in just a few easy steps. I'm Christy Price, I'm a Squarespace expert and educator, and if you would like a checklist of everything you need before launching your Squarespace website, I've got you covered. There is a link in the description below. All right, I am here in my Sway website template for service providers. If you are looking to jumpstart your own website, then take a look at my template shop, I'll drop a link below. So you're here because you want to add someone as a user to your Squarespace website. I'm going to show you where to find that. And because Squarespace has been making changes to the navigation, I'm going to show you three different ways to get there. And then once we're there, I'm going to show you different options for adding someone as a user to your website. Okay, first off, if we roll over this cog icon for settings, we can click that, go to permissions and ownership, and then click permissions and ownership. This is where we will invite someone to the website. Now there's more to it than that, so hang tight. I'm gonna show you two other ways to get there and then I'm gonna show you what you need to know to invite someone. Another option is to go to this search icon up at the top and start typing permissions. Click on permissions and you're immediately there. And then finally on your keyboard, if you click the forward slash button, which is also the question mark button, you can pull up that same search box and type in permissions. All right, we are here in the permissions panel and you want to invite someone to your website. First, we're gonna get their information added and then I'm going to show you what your options are for the level of control you're going to give them. So we'll click invite contributor. You'll enter in their name and email address. And once you've done that, you can choose the level of access that they have. Now, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be sharing this with a web designer because they're going to be helping you with your website. If that's the case, you need to toggle on administrator. That gives them full access to the website, but they can't transfer ownership. A couple of other common options are if someone is only working on your email campaigns, you can come down and toggle on email campaigns editor. That limits their access to just Squarespace campaigns. Likewise, if you have someone who is coordinating Acuity scheduling for you, you can toggle on just scheduling administrator so they can manage appointments and settings for scheduling. There are lots of other options here, but like I said, nine times out of 10, you're gonna to be toggling on administrator so that web designer can log into your website. Just make sure it's someone that you trust with your website because they do have full access. Then you'll click invite. And once that invite is sent, you can actually go into this little right arrow under invites sent click copy for the invitation link. And if you are working with someone over Zoom or in a chat, you can drop this invitation link directly in there so they don't need to wait for the email from Squarespace. Once they click on this link, it will prompt them to add your website to their Squarespace account. And it will be there until you remove them. And later on, if you want to remove someone, you just go back into that panel and you can choose to remove access for that person. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up below as that helps other people discover my videos. I hope that it was helpful and I wish you all the best with your website.